fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. In the early days of the western United States, many of the settlers developed a contempt for the East and distrust of Eastern men and methods. But the masked rider of the plains realized that the winning of the West could never be accomplished without the help of the older states. It was he who proved this to the ranchers and blazed the trail for progress. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver, the Lone Ranger. Rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Painted Well! Oh, Silver! Away! It was evening. The Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, had reined their horses to a stop close to a rambling white frame house on the outskirts of the town of Painted Wells. When the masked man spoke, his voice was low. It's not easy to believe that old Zeke has almost reached the end of the trail, Tonto. Him die? They say he can't last out the night. Mm, that bad. When he's gone, this district will have lost the finest man it ever knew. Mm. He was kind and wise and tolerant. He had faith in the West and in its people. No one but he could have brought painted wells of prosperity it's enjoying now. Him fine fella. Yes. I wonder what the future will bring when he's gone. Me not know. No one knows. His bank, of course, will be managed by his sons. But they are untried. They could easily destroy all the good their father worked so hard to bring about. Mm. Zeke thought of his bank first as a servant of the people who used it. I doubt that his own profit from it meant much to him. How many sons him got? Two. Oh. John and Ward. John's the older, about 30, I think. And Ward must be close to 25. Mm. Ward's never been far from Painted Wells, and he's well known. They say he's a good sort, though a trifle headstrong. Not what me here. John, however, has been in the East. He went to school there and remained afterwards. Except for a visit or two, this is the first time he's been home since he was a boy. Mm. They can make a fine team, Tonto. Not right. Ward, with his knowledge of the West, could balance John with his Eastern schooling and business training. Oh. But I'm afraid... What matter? We may have a lot to learn before they'll pull together in double harness. Zeke's wife and his two sons stood by the old man's bedside. The lamp turned low, cast dim shadows on the wall, and... There, honey. Don't cry. I can't help it, Zeke. I can't... Sure, ain't nothing for you to feel bad about. We'll be together again. I'm just going a little ahead of you, that's all. Kind of a scouting trip, you could call it. Now hush that sniffling. I'll try. Uh, that's better. John. Yes, Father? Ward. Uh-huh. 
I reckon, boys, there ain't much left for us to talk about. We've settled everything about the bank. John being older than you, Ward, it's only fair that he should be top man. I don't mean to set one of you over the other. I expect you to run the bank together. But if it ever comes to a difference of opinion, it ought to be John's say that goes. Sure, Pa. I understand. Well, that's by the way. There's something else I think is a heap more important. Yes? Just this, John. Whatever you and Ward do, I want it to be only what you could be proud to think back on afterwards. I say it because when you're running a bank, it ain't easy. Money gets to looking powerful important. You begin to forget it's so important only because folks use it. And then the day comes when you figure a dollar is worth more than the man that needs it. We remember that, Father. Oh, that's what I want. Just your promise that you will all of us remember. I do promise. And you, Ward? Oh, you... You got my promise, too. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Oh, I seem to be getting awful tired. I think if maybe you left me alone for a bit, I might be able to sleep. Zeke slept, but never awakened. At his funeral, he received the greatest tribute ever given to a citizen of Painted Wells. And when it was over, John and Ward, his sons, applied themselves to the task of managing the bank he had founded. Several months went by in which the difference between them became more marked each day. Inevitable, it gave rise to friction. And one morning, an incident occurred that brought this friction to a head. Get in here, Parker. Well, now, Mr. Prentice, I don't want to cause no trouble. You leave that to me. Ward, what is it? Parker says he was just in here to see you, John. Oh, yes, And you was, turned he... him down for a loan. But I turned Parker, him down. Parker, come here. Gosh, if I'd known I was starting something, I wouldn't have mentioned it at all. I'm glad you did. Well, what seems to be the trouble? Why'd you turn him down? You wanted that money to buy cattle, didn't you, Parker? Uh-huh. Well, there's your answer. Answer? What kind of an answer do you call that? Why shouldn't he buy cattle? Didn't Pa always loan him cash when he wanted to buy? Well, of course he did. Oh, I get it. I suppose you figure Pa didn't know what he was doing. I didn't say that. Am I just as well? No, Ward, you're misunderstanding me. A year ago, I would have been glad to give Parker his money. Perhaps next year, I will again. Just now, however, I think the purchase of cattle will be a mistake. I don't like the signs. I think the market's going to break. Oh, you think so, huh? Well, what do you know about it? <laughs> well, I could be wrong. I've made mistakes before. Nice of you to admit it. Just the same, I have to act as I see best. I've been right occasionally, too, you know. You think you're running this bank alone? I'd hoped you'd agree with my judgment. Well, I don't. So what are you going to do about it? Stick to my decision? Huh? What else did you expect me to do? Look here, John. You know what's happening to you. What? Just what Pa said he was afraid of the night he died. You're getting so nothing looks half as big to you as a dollar. That's not true. No? Well, you're showing it right now. Parker, look here. Yeah? Suppose I loaned you the money you've asked for. Suppose you bought the cattle you want. Then suppose in a week or a month the bottom dropped from the market. Where would you be then? Why, bad off, I reckon. Oh, but shucks, the market's steady. You don't need to worry about it. I think I do. And in spite of what my brother says, I'm thinking as much of your interests as ours. You make it sound good, but you're forgetting something. Yes? If the market went to blazes, which I, I know doggone well it ain't, Clark would be all right if we didn't call his loan, wouldn't he? If the market eventually went up again... Which I suppose it would. <laughs> well, then where's your argument? We'll carry him. No. But I tell you, we... We can't make exceptions. If we carried him, we'd have to give everyone else time. Our assets would be frozen. We have just as much of an obligation to our depositors as we have to those who borrow money from us. More of an obligation, in fact. No, no, it can't be done. And I guess you figure your word's law, huh? That was the way Father wanted it. Like Funny did. He said when it came to a difference of opinion, my decision should rule. And you're sure making the most of it. I'm sorry you see it that way, Ward. <laughs> I'll bet you are. Well, now I'm going to tell you something that's been in my mind for quite a spell. I don't like the way you've been running the bank. I don't like the way you're all the time setting yourself over me. And most of all, I don't like you. 
That's plain enough. And from now on, you and me are quits. If you'll excuse me, gents, I reckon I'd better... Parker, wait a second. Well, but I Nobody that's been a good customer of ours as long as you've been is ever going to be able to say we wouldn't help you while I can do anything about it. John? Yes? How much cash have I got in my own personal account? You should know that better than I should. Thirty or 40000 I suppose. How much did you want, Parker? Just 5000 But you should... I'll do what I please. John, I want every penny that's coming to me. It's yours. I can't prevent your taking it. You'd better not try. Parker, I'm loaning you that cash myself. Say now, that's mighty white. And John. Well? You can run the bank the way you please. I'm through. Lord, whatever are you doing? Oh, uh, packing. Well, where's that old trunk of mine? You're leaving? I am. Lord, what fur. Oh, reckon you can guess, Ma. You, you ought to know me and John won't never hit it off together. I'm leaving the bank to him. But what'll you do? Go out to the ranch. Huh? I'm glad Pa bought it. it. It'll give me something to do. I always did like ranching better than banking anyhow. Son, you know you don't mean that. Well, I do. But your father wanted you both in the bank. Maybe he did. But it can't be helped. I'm leaving and, and I'm leaving for good. That night in camp, Tonto told the Lone Ranger the quarrel between Ward and John. You're sure of that, Tonto? They've really split up? Uh, I don't like it. Ward, go to ranch. They should work together, Tonto. And I'm thinking less of them than I am the community. The bank needs them both. John has his father's shrewdness, while Ward is liked by the community just as his father was. Ranchers keep mad with John. Uh. And it's because he's refusing them loans. Here, Silver. We ride. I want to talk with John. Call Scout. Uh. Here, Scout. Here. I want to find out if he realizes exactly what he's doing. Uh, come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Come on. Mrs. Prentice, on her way to her room for the night, paused beside her son. John. Yes, Mother? Uh, don't you think you and Ward could make it up together? Oh, I'd like to. I rode out to the ranch this afternoon. They won't even discuss it. Oh, it seems such a shame. It is a shame. I didn't want Ward to leave. There's nothing I'd rather have than him working with me. Oh. Well, I was afraid from the first that something like this would happen. Well, son, all I know is nothing like this ever happened while your pa was alive. I mean, like you're refusing them ranchers loans. He always lent them cash. But conditions are different. Oh, I suppose so. I wouldn't pretend to know. But they are, Mother. Well, just look back. How long has it been that Texas has really had a market for its cattle? Just a few years. And times have been good. These ranchers haven't learned yet that their market depends upon conditions in the East. Wait until times are bad back there and see what happens. Well, it's all too deep for me, John. Ain't no use my trying to decide. I guess I'm ready for bed. Good night, son. Good night, Mother. Ooh. What the? Careful. Mask. This isn't a hold up. You keep your voice down. No need to alarm your mother. What do you want? Answers to a few questions. But I want to know... In the first place, everyone's talking about the fact that you're refusing loans to the ranchers. Have you been sent here No to... one sent me. Then what are you doing? I want to know why you're refusing those loans. None of your business. I'm making it mine. I don't You've see... You've got something to hide? Of course not. Then why not answer? Well, if you have to know, I'm refusing loans because I expect the market to break at any time. I see. Is this your personal opinion? Or have you information you're acting upon? I have information. The best. Yes? From sources in the East... From bankers there who understand the situation. I suppose you're one of the people who doesn't believe the East can affect the cattle market. Of course it can. The East is the market. Well, I'm glad to meet one man who can realize that. You have confidence in the people who've told you this? Absolutely. How soon will prices drop? How do I know? Maybe it's happened already. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next month. For that matter, they may never drop. No one alive can be certain. Stick to your guns. Huh? If you've thought this over, stay with your decision. You won't regret it. Just a second. I'm... You may run into trouble, Prentice, but you won't be alone. But I want to go. Come on, Tonto. Uh, 
Get back to camp. Get him up, Scott. I'll sail by Hawaii. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto drew rain when they reached their camp again. Oh, pull this, oh, 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 oh. Stay in the saddle, Tonto. What matter? I'm staying here. I look for things to happen at Painted Wells, and I want to be on hand when they do. Uh-huh. John told me several things about the cattle market, Kimasabi, and he sounded convincing. Uh-huh. But the ranchers aren't convinced. They believe the fact that he's refusing them loans is losing them opportunities for profit. They won't stand for that long. That's right. They take their anger out on John, he'll need help. And I'll give it to him. Me help, too. In another way. You're riding to Grove City. Well, what me do? It's the closest town to Painted Wells where there's a telegraph. Uh-huh. Stay near it. Whatever happens to the market, the news will be flashed over the wires. Uh-huh. Watch for that news. And if the market breaks, ride for Painted Wells just as fast as you can. How to do it? Good. Now on your way. Uh-huh. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Lone Ranger had not underestimated the anger of the ranchers. During the following week, discontented murmurs changed to shouts of protest. As long as their paw lived, I got cash from the bank whenever I wanted it. But this time, if it hadn't been for war, I wouldn't have got a cent. All I wanted was 2000 Three months' time, I could have turned that 2000 into four. You think he'd loan it? He's too yellow to take a chance. Market going smash? He's crazy. What does he know about the cattle business? What he needs is a good lesson. He can't do this to us. The skunk needs a lesson. He ought to be run out of town. Well, why don't we? You hear that, fellas? Why don't we chase the polecat out of town? In the meantime, Ward Prentice busied himself about the ranch which his father had owned in addition to the bank. He knew that the ranchers resented his brother's policy, but he did not realize that their resentment had reached a point that threatened his brother's safety. On the very day that the ranchers resolved to take matters into their own hands, he was riding slowly toward the ranch house where he now made his home. Slim, the foreman, rode beside him. Well, Ward, how do you like ranch instead of banking? I... I like it fine. <laughs> Who do you think you're fooling, huh? Shucks, you think I'm blind? I got eyes, ain't I? You ain't got no more use for this kind of work than I'd have for your kind. <laughs> I'll bet if John was to ride out here again and hint at you going back, you'd scorch saddle leather to get there. I had no such thing. Hmm. What's wrong with being a common? Nothing. I'm one, ain't I? You think I'm too stuck up for the work or something? Gosh, no, Ward. Now, don't go getting me wrong. Chuck, you ain't stuck up no how. That ain't the point. It's just that some folks is fit for one kind of work and some uh, for another kind. You was raised to be a banker. Your pa always planned on it, and so did you. For you to be doing something else just ain't right. Well, I'm here, and here I'm staying. Won't go back and talk things over, huh? Not till John admits he's wrong. Never got very well acquainted with John. He the stubborn kind? Mm. Well, I reckon we're both kind of stubborn. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me, Norm. Oh, yeah. There was something else I wanted to ask you about, if you won't think I'm buttoned in where I shouldn't. Well? You come out here with quite a bit of cash. All I had. Mm-hmm. And you lent Parker some of it, then you lent more to others that asked you. I'm wondering just how much you got left. Well, I... Uh... Say, is all that cash gone? Just loaned. You ain't no bank. All right. What'd you expect me to do? 
That's just what me and John argued about. And them fellas asked me, I, I couldn't act like him, could I? <laughs> you sure ain't changed, Danny. You're acting just like you used to as a kid. What's the matter with the way I'm acting? Oh, nothing. Only, uh... Only what? Well, I can see where maybe there's something to say for your brother after all. What do you mean by that? Oh, you do too many things because you like folks. You don't stop often enough to think that maybe they might be taking advantage of you or just asking you because you're easy. You ought to quit being so friendly when it comes to money. I ain't got no head for business, but I sure know that much. Well, there's no reason we should get to arguing. We ain't related. Oh, boy. Who oh, oh, there? Oh, uh, going inside? <coughs> uh-huh. Well, I'll take your horse around back and have one of the boys... Hey, look there. Huh? If that fella ain't masked, then my name ain't Slim Egan. Come on, Silver! By golly, he is. He's heading right here. I wonder what for. He's riding like the law's after him. I don't see nobody chasing him. Here he comes. Don't draw, but keep your gun hand limber. Uh-huh. Ward! Slim, he yelled at me. I heard it. Oh, 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 that stupid. Oh, 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 that fool. Mister, what do you want? Ward, your brother's in danger. Huh? What's that? He may get run out of town. A crowd of cattlemen have been spending most of the day in town drinking. They've got themselves to the point where they're going to take action. Your brother may get hurt. Strange, is this the truth? This ain't no trick? It's the exact truth. But how did... I know you and your brother are cold. You may not care what happens to him, but I'm giving him the chance to help, if you will. You bet I will. Hey, I thought you was done with John. Well, I am. Then where But he's still my brother, ain't he? Anybody thinks he can touch a brother of mine has got something to learn. You going back to town, stranger? At once. Then let's go. Doggone, I'm going too. Come on, Silver. Get up there. Get up there. Oh, Silver. Howard. While the Lone Ranger led Ward and Slim toward Painted Wells, a mob composed of cattlemen and townsmen had already formed and was advancing upon the bank. You'll send the skunk back east where he came from. Ought to run him out of town on a rail. Yeah. Tar and feather him. We'll show him. Just let me get my hands on that pole cap. Me too. There's the bank, fellas. Come on. Don't worry about the law. It ain't in town. We'll walk right in and drag him out. Here we are, boys. He's inside, all right. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, and he sees us. By gravy, he ain't running. Oh, gone. Here he comes. Yeah. What's the meaning of this? It means you're done in painted well. You're leaving town. We're helping you on your way. Quiet. Quiet, you fools! Quiet! Now, if there's anyone here with a sense he was born with, I'd like an explanation of this. I'll give it to you. Yes? Your pa run this bank the way it ought to be run. When he was alive, wasn't one of us. Couldn't do business with it. Then you came here with your high pollutant back east notions and figured to change things. Look at Parker there and Redmond, Wilkins and me. Yeah, and a dozen others. You cheated every one of us out of the chance to make money. You've kept us from doing business. What's the bank for if it won't back the fellas that need it? Tell me that. What's it for? Will you listen to me? I've explained to you men why I wouldn't make loans. It was as much for your protection as mine. You think I don't want to see you make money? Can't you get it through your fool heads that if you don't make money, neither does the bank? And what's the idea of stopping us? Because if you haven't a sense to see what's coming, then the bank will have to do your thinking for you. Yeah, we'll do our own. And without no help from you. What do you know about the market? Going to eat school back east don't teach you everything. The places with them, fellas. What are we arguing for? Yeah, let's do something. Uh, grab him. Come on, get wait, him. Wait, man, wait. Man. Come on, get him there, boys. Come on, get him hey, there. Hey, watch out. Master! Hey, watch out for the horses! Where you going? Whoa, 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 whoa. Make way! Come on, out of my way! I get free! Get inside, Prentice. What do you want? Quick, here, the door. Lock and bolt it right. Ward, what are you doing here? What do you care? Can I get in the fight? When John not only received reinforcements, but prepared to defy them from inside the bank, the anger of the crowd mounted. I ain't gonna let him get away. What do we care how many are on his side? If Ward's fool enough to fight for him, that's his part. Let's bust the door down. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. Let's go. They're coming. 
Watch out, they're throwing rocks through the windows. Hey, do you think that door is going to hold? Not for long. They're out of their heads. They haven't the slightest idea what they're doing. No, Mom does. John, out the back way. We'll run for it. That'll give you a chance. No. But you're bound I won't to... run from anyone. The door's giving weight. I'll fire over their heads. First man through that door, stop sled. That won't do no good, stranger. With all them others pushing from behind, they can't stop. It'll slow them up. Come on, keep firing. Fire high. Stop. 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 Fire. They're quitting. Why, Thunder, we scared them out. Like blazes, we did. It's something else. Look at them. Something's happened. What are they yelling and jabbering about? Listen. The market broke, man. The market. The market? Did they say something about the market? Unlock the door. I'll get it. Throw it open. Right. Beat found almost nothing. It's a panic. The Indians say the news came oh, by telegram. Oh, can't sell oh, beef. Everybody going oh, by. Giving their cows away. Yeah, losing everything. Oh, I don't understand. I do. There's Tonto. Here, Kimosabe. Ah, who's the redskin? My friend. I sent him to Grove City. He was to return here. The moment they flashed the news, the market had broken. That's what stopped them fellas. He told them the news. Right. John, here comes Parker. I see. Say, Mr. Prentice. Well? Uh, well, well, blast it all. I reckon you're mad enough at us to shoot. But, well, you was right. We got to admit it. The engineer says news come but telegraph that everything's gone smash. The bottom's dropped out of everything. So, well, if you cure the reporters to the sheriff, well, you're welcome to. We'll, we'll take our medicine. We got it coming. Brandish, if you'd loan me the cash I asked for, right now I'd be just about ready to shoot myself. We'd have had a hands full of cattle. We, we couldn't get a dime on. Forget it. But we want to Wait. tell you. I'm glad I was right, I'll admit it. But only because I hope it's shown you this bank is still your friend. In spite of what you think of me. John, you're all right. Even your paw couldn't have done better. And where for you? Yes, then if you are, take my advice. Yeah. Don't lose faith in cattle. The market will come back. Beef will make Texas rich yet. Yeah. Well, them fellas were saved, but I am plumb busted. Don't be too sure, Ward. Huh? Of course I am. I took the cash I had and loaned every doggone dollar of it out. Now there's not a chance of collecting. Maybe your brother will have something to say about that. Have something to say? John, what do you mean? <laughs> but I took his suggestion. Huh? I knew you'd loan your money. The masked man suggested that I buy cattle from the men you'd loan to in the amount of the loan. We can afford to hold cattle until the price comes back where they can't. But you'll find the men who borrowed from you have money to repay what they borrowed. You, you did that for me after... After the way I acted? You were willing to fight for me when I needed it. John, you're... Your brother worth having. <laughs> uh, you're not so bad yourself. Now get back inside where you belong. We're running this bank together. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>